Hey guys, Brito here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019. Here we are once again in our USA Farm Series. Back at the Rolling Hills map. So we're continuing on from the last time. Um, I think we're just about full with this guy, actually. We're, um, this last bit of this trailer filled up. See how money is going down drastically? It's because we're uh, filling up our lime spreader. And it is costing us a bloody fortune, as you can see. Right, what I want a quick look at is our money. Can we borrow any more? We can't. Um, Alright. I want to try and get all these bits of land uh, growth. So it's all growing. Uh, what have we got? We've got some oats. We've got some... What is that one? Oat. Oh, oh, if we go here, barley. Yep, barley, oat, and some wheat. Yes, okay. But I, I don't want to use any of those. We'll get rid of all of those, I think. Um, just plough the entire field all together. So we're not far off finishing this field, actually. But I want to plough all of that, not even worry about... Um, I wonder how that trailer's going to turn around. Pretty rough. Smack back into our harvester. Yep, sweet. Um, yeah, not worry about harvesting anything. Just plough the whole thing. Probably what we're going to have to do. Just like this field needs ploughing. That one's going to need ploughing too. All the way down the bottom there. Um, soil composition. Weed needs ploughing. Probably needs lime as well. One of them does anyway. I wonder if he's going to keep going now or if he's going to be upset that we've pushed him off his, off his path. He's right, he's going again. Alright, so we'll head down. Get rid of this load and hopefully uh, buy those fields down the bottom. We might even need to lease a couple more tractors um, just to help then a couple of plows. Right, and this guy, so we've still got a few spots here we've got to touch up with the plow. He hasn't done too bad I suppose. Could have been uh, a lot worse. Right, let's head down. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series so far. This is um, replacing our Ravenport series for now. Um, and hoping once the, uh, the map gets updated, we don't have to start all over again. Otherwise we're just going to have to um, come into here, work out what equipment we had, how much money we have left and all the fields we've got and all that sort of stuff, rebuy it all and then pretty much start start fresh but start with the same sort of money that we've got now so we're not, you know, getting ourselves ahead. So we'll head down, drop this off. He's um, nearly got a full grain tank already. How far along is he? He's only just at the other end, so we're still going to have like another two passes or something after that, I think. So all that, all that bottom field down the bottom there, from field two to six, I think I'm going to plant corn all through there. Maybe field J, we can just leave field J. Field one, where helper J is, we're just going to leave as like a wheat field. So we're not too far away from the store. And also we're going to sell this grain. Yep, Pepper B's got a full grain tank. It wouldn't be long. We're not far away though. It's only just here. It does take us a while to get down here though. I don't know if it's meant to be like a one way, in that way and out this way. I'm not quite sure. Guess we can just treat it as like a one way, one way sort of road.
Hopefully the um sounds loud enough. It should be, shouldn't it? Yeah, it's the same as what it usually is. It doesn't seem that loud for me, but try and get them both in the sail point. Start dumping it off. Watch our money go through the roof. Start at the bottom, so we'll buy this one. Uh, you, I. Still can't get any more. What do we need for here? 126,000. Might be able to get it once we've tipped both of these trailers off. One twenty six, there we go, beautiful. Um and the soybean field, not what I just said before. One twenty, I don't think we'll have enough. Not quite. Alright, let's open these covers, get this guy back. So we're still gonna need a fair bit of money before we can buy those other fields. I said we're going to have to organise another tractor and another plough. Um, we're not going to head down and start joining those fields together. Can't join all of them, of course, but start joining some of them. Um, so they all so those don't need ploughing these ones. Oh, someone working down in field five. I oh, know, not working, but that's <laughs> weeds growing, I should say. Alright, so as I said, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. Um, I've been enjoying playing it. I've also been enjoying um, the chicken farm time lapse series. Something just a little bit different and um, focusing a lot on um, terraforming, or well, terraforming, but you know, painting and um, putting in things, trees and bushes and that sort of stuff, making it look like it's meant to be a legitimate farm. Um, as I said, I'd love to build my own map, but I just really have no idea how to do it. You can see the tractor in the distance there. I think that's our, our guy with a plow. Head down this way. Which way? He's facing the wrong way, of course. So I think it's yeah, one run up, maybe one run back, maybe a little bit extra after that. Dump this, oop, dump this off, try not to destroy our truck in the process. Right, so what I'm going to do is go uh, plows, we're going to lease this guy. It's 260 horsepower, but guys probably know me, I want something a bit stronger than that. Oh, I've already got one of these guys. How much is that to lease? 22,000. Yeah, let's lease it. I think we might only just have one trailer load by the time we go to empty this. There is weed on this part of the field too, so that's not helping our um, helping our yield and that sort of thing. Uh, so where's this guy? He's still here. Uh, I don't know if it's worthwhile. Getting him out to work a little bit. Probably not till we're finished, really. It's probably not much point. Oh, jumping this guy. Guy up. If we go all the way down the bottom of the map here, um, you can see, you'll be able to see where, whoop, 
apparently like these trackers. You see where the map ends straight ahead just here, it's just a complete blank thing, it's just bushes, so there's no tunnel or anything. Which um it's not a bad thing, it's not great, but it's not bad. Go around the Wilson farm here. I do like the Wilson farm. Shame we can't actually open these buildings and use them. That would be a lot better if we could. Make sure I'm still heading the right sort of direction. I'm not sure if this is like a forest area here. So we're just having a look around, so we're going to have to... I oh know, it all needs ploughing. That's fine. So we need to join this field together. And those we can join. Oh, Jesus. We can join later on. Yes, it's a little forest area, and we ran straight into it. So what I might do, I might just like get a hired worker to do this down here, and um, I'll join the fields after. It'll be the way to go because um, oh, there's a fence here. Don't know if there's going to be a way through, a way over. I think so. We might have to use our, our um, brute force. Or just drive straight through it because it's no hitboxes. Even better. So there's, that's the um, Kellogg farm. Don't know how we're going to go get up this hill. Yeah, that's alright. Is this meant to be? This is meant to be grass all through there. Rose's Acres is over there somewhere. So you see the shape of these fields are really weird down here. I think if we can join all these fields together, um, that's gonna it's gonna give us a huge area to harvest all of our corn and that sort of thing. Might need to. I don't know how close this field's going to be to the end of the map. So that's the end of the map right there. So I don't know whether it's better off going this way or that way. Um, it's probably better off this way because it's a longer run than, than left to right. So east to west is better than north to south. These tractors, like such a big tractor, they shouldn't have a horn like that. It's like a big truck horn. So you can see Rose's Acres just there. You can see our farm in the background. As I said, this series, I want to make sure um, you guys don't miss anything. So while ever I'm playing this series, you guys will see everything I'm doing. With no time lapse, there'll be no um, doing things off camera. i to make sure I do everything on camera. Um, hopefully you guys like it that way. Straighten her up. Hard work up. Off he goes. So I think we might be able to drop this second trailer off and not take it to the shop with us. It's going to be like the smallest little bit when he comes back up. Just going to be an absolute pain. Make sure we get right underneath. There we go. How's this guy going? I mean, he's not doing too bad. So we've still got plenty to fix up all through here, but. It's getting through it alright. Um, don't need this guy. Probably get this guy out. Spraying for a little while. Um, why do we have... 
solid fertilizer. There was still lime. There was still lime in the trailer when I came back to refill it. Bugger. Looks like we're going to drop off. Huge amount. <laughs> solid fertilizer at the end of the field. Probably should have kept a close eye on that, but there was definitely like 80 something litres or 280 litres or something of lime when I came back here, so there we go. Right, might as well head down, follow him back up and help unload him. So I don't think we're going to have enough to buy any more of those fields. Gonna have to wait a little bit. So one more little run up. So you imagine the amount of bales you'd get off this field too, if this was like a wheat field or something. I mean, bales, say the bales aren't worth much, but not that we can see how much they're worth, but it would all add up for sure. We'll stay there for a second while we get this guy going again. Sneak through these trees. Now we've got our lime in the tank and not our fertilizer. It's going to help. Make sure we overlap a little. There we go. Oop. Just shut down as we got in it. Let's go up and we'll unload this guy as he goes along. Definitely going to need to buy a second harvester as, a, as well. That field down the bottom. Um, and garage. Right, where's our cedar? It does corn and sunflowers and soybeans. Definitely not going to need this other trailer, so we're going to have to dump that off somewhere. Um, I don't think... Oh, so we shouldn't have any... anything in those silos. Which is a shame. Let's make sure... It's definitely, yeah, it's definitely empty. Set up this way. I'm going to work out where I'm going to dump these trailers. It's kind of off camber through there. Don't think that guy just did that whole length of the field. Um, no. I don't know what he's doing. Um, I think we'll put it around this side, maybe. Or even we'll just stick it straight on here. At least now it's sort of out of the way then. Straighten that up, but bloody terrible. down and unload this. So we've got some, um, we've got a lime it, we've got a fertilize it as well. So we can probably get all that done. 
this episode, maybe, hopefully. So I don't think we'll have enough for another piece of land down the bottom. We'll see how we go. So not sure how that guy's going. Missing bits at the end, but that's alright, we'll, we'll fix them up. So it's fully fertilised though, so that's a bonus. I don't have to worry about fertilising. Still, um, still happy with this map. This map is really good. So I can't wait for him to update it a little bit more and give us a little bit more stuff that we can we can use. Update obviously these cell points and and um, that sort of thing. Be a good multiplayer map, especially when you've got um, Gilcrest, Murphy's, uh, Wilson, Kellogg, Roses Acres, and Mitchell Farms. There's six different farms, so you'd have six different people. I'm playing the multiplayer server, one farm each. That'll actually be really good. I'll swing in here, dump this off. Ooh, there we go. Soybeans. I want to have a quick look. It doesn't even register as a sell point though. Obviously it is. Uh, how much do we need for this other guy? One, two, oh, I just got enough. Let's buy it. We're gonna have much left over, but we need it. I think in the middle of the night though we're going to get it absolutely hammered with um, lease fees and all that sort of thing. So I'm hoping we can, uh, the bank's going to go, you know what, you've got all these fields, you know, here's some more money, give us another half a mil, another million to be able to borrow and help us get through at least the next 24 hour period because we're going to struggle a little bit. So um, you guys may have seen our um, chicken farm time lapse series and also our grizzly grizzly mountain forestry series as well. If you guys want to see more of that, let me know. Leave it in the comments section. Um, definitely going to leave them both as a time lapse series, I think. Especially with the chicken chicken farm, um, it's just going to be really repetitive, and so is the logging, I suppose. Really repetitive. Um, this series will probably eventually get repetitive, but you know we'll see what we can do to try and change things up a little bit, make it um, make it more exciting than than boring. Hopefully, I'm really um, enjoying the chicken chicken farm series because of all the you know the modifications I'm doing to the a little home area, putting in all the chicken farm buildings, the prefab buildings. Um, we've got three three different ones in the moment. And then um, also, you know, changing the ground textures and putting in shrubs and all that other sort of stuff. Started doing that. Obviously got a lot more a lot more shrubbery to go until I'll be completely happy with it, but it's all coming together. It's a little bit annoying there, but Uh oh. Back this guy right in. Uh, who's got 929 litres of soybean? Uh, okay, that rear trailer's got a tiny little bit. There we go. Anyway, it's kind of weird. I'll fold this guy up. I think that guy's probably going to need to 
stop for a minute. Um, shut you down as well. Gonna need some more um, lime in there anyway, which we're gonna struggle with because we don't have a great deal of money laying around. So I definitely think we're probably gonna need, um, I don't know whether we need to clear these trees out, but we sort of need to come down to here somewhere maybe and put in like another shed for us to sort of store this harvester so that won't go under there once right, so I'm just bring it up here somewhere sort of hide it around the back of the building so hopefully no one knows it's there Definitely going to go and need to fill it up. We just lost a ton of money somehow. Um, okay, the only other thing I can think of is take all those back down and sell those. So fill this guy back up all that fertiliser and then drive him down and get rid of them so I think we should have um, yeah this guy for just the, um, the fertilising which we're going to need to do as well fertilise he's missed so much of the field though this guy I don't know what's going on Really not sure. Anyway, we'll um, fill it up here and then I might see if I can take the pickup down to empty this out and bring it back. So we've got nowhere else we can sell these. We can't reset these guys back to the shop or anything, so. We actually just go. <laughs> Not like that. Oh god, I hate doing this. Um, no. Nah. I have to hold it. Shame we can't just sell this here somewhere. I don't think our pickup will be strong enough to tow it anyway, really. If we can get away with it, we will. Uh, what do we what do we actually own? Pick up in the harvester and the trailers, so not a lot. Make sure we get all of it. on all these other guys. It's getting through that field reasonably quick. Go and drop this off and then I might get this guy um, fertilizing. I don't know how we keep losing money. It's four thousand, now it's seven thousand. So we're not off, 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 off. 
They're not buying anything. Maybe it's just their wages, I suppose. It's good to see the numbers going up. Fortunately, it's going up in a minus, not in a positive. Jesus. Let's hit this guy up. We should be able to get through this whole field. Cycle through. I hope this guy is going to be strong enough to grab it. I know he's going to be able to grab it, but is he going to be. No. No, he's not. Didn't think he would. He'd like a front weight. This truck is pretty much useless. To be honest, so um, I think can we sell them here? I think we can. Uh, no, can we repair? There we go. A little bit of money. Right, that can sort of just stay there. We'll I'll leave it there for now. This guy, it's getting there. Let this guy. take over for a little while while those other guys are doing their thing. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on him. I want to save ourselves a little bit of money by doing it ourselves. Helper E. Who's helper E? Walk by what? Okay. That'll be wide enough. Yeah, heaps wide. Um, how did this guy go? So all that, all this side's fine. It's just the other side, which um, doesn't surprise me anyway because it's so close to the the trees and the boundary of the actual map. Obviously pulling through really, really well though. We'll have to get our cedar down here and get that seeded. It's gonna it's gonna be a fair while before we get to our um our next harvest, I think. plenty we've got to fix up. I wish we could bring this up and um, have the field state on that map there and be able to flick through field states. That'll be pretty cool. Not having to go to here. It'll be so much better. At least we know this field is completely fertilized. All the other fields aren't, but this one is. So there we go, see if we can oop, so see if we can get a full turn here, but it was not very good. So I can't have a go at him when I can't do it properly either. It's just these tractors, they make it so hard because they turn in the middle. I'd rather Oh, I'd rather a solid tractor than these guys any day. Give me this bloody thing. Come back here. 
or not. Oh, there we go, done. So yeah, I'd rather a solid tractor than one that moves like this any day. Don't really like the solid tractors as much. It's not. Why is he not fertilising all the way down? Come on. Check on him. Might just sort of start him here. Quite sure if it's I don't think we'll quite get all of it. I don't know why it doesn't go all the way to the end. Let's move over just a little bit more. This guy going. So we've got these three other fields to do as well as this one. So it's going to take us a little while to get all the ploughing and stuff done. Destroying the grass crop around the outside, but I'm not I'm not that worried about that. So much easier to turn around from this side than it is on this other end. See, these fields will probably go north south. It's that way we don't have like all this stuff going on down here. They should be able to just get it all done. finish this field off and then I'll join them together and then I'll hire another worker and let him do his thing. And touch up that as well before we move on to the next field I think. We're still waiting for some um, new mods to come out. I'd like to get the um, uh, either the GPS mod or course play mod. Still waiting for those. Um, obviously, I know I know they're not easy, and um, Christmas, all that sort of thing. So we might be waiting a little while longer, but hopefully they're working on them. We'll get them out soon because they are some some pretty good mods that we could use to our advantage. Especially about having to pay bloody workers. Like, look at our money. Uh, where's our wages? Three grand already paid in wages. I mean, which isn't that bad considering how much work they've done. How's he going? He's getting there. I think we're going to have to go down ourselves and sell that with a tractor. Sell all that, um, or as much of that fertilizer we can, we might fill up that little trailer uh, but then again it's going to be a pain, we'll have to empty it, refill it, it's going to be a pain in the bum so maybe not don't know if we actually own that other plough as well, if we do we'll definitely get rid of it keep this guy because this guy is just um, so much better. No we don't. Turn up for 12.2 so we get a little bit more width out of it. Not a lot but I 
So we're going to be one more run down and then we should be able to join them after that. Come back and touch up this. And then get a hard worker to go north south. That little field's going to be a bit of a pain, but uh, touch it up later. Once we join them all, we'll be right. I was also looking, trying to find just like a little mower. I think like FS15 or something had like this this mower called like the, the little profi hopper or whatever. It's just like a, a domestic mower, a really, really small one um, that did actually collect the grass and you can actually tip it off. Um, I was trying to find one of those for you know mowing around that around around our house just to make it just to make it look um, a bit more tidy but um, I can't find one anywhere so because the only other thing we can do is um god damn it is just adjust the the terrain or just paint paint the grass down which will remove the growing grass and just have painted grass Um, another thing is, with this sprayer we've got, we're probably going to have to get rid of it and get one of these guys. Um, probably the Rubicon, I guess. For um, for weeding and stuff, because even with that little sprayer, I probably won't, I probably won't take really long, like, heaps long, it'll be a lot quicker if we could obviously use like the Rubicon. So much better. Try and line this up. Back a little bit. So I've missed that a little bit. Oh, there we go. Hopefully keep this straight enough to join these fields together easily we'll come back and touch up those bits on the other side hire a guy to do this field for us so, uh, we're getting close to missing it's hard to keep it perfectly straight few spots there we're going to have to come back and touch up. I think we're just going to have to focus on um, joining the fields. We can come back and touch these other bits up later. Oh god. So I hate these bloody tractors, the way they work. I think that got it. As you can see, <laughs> oh, how difficult it is for someone like me. Every time I try and move over a bit, even just the slightest, it just goes way too far. Get these bits. So helper J is finished. Work out who helper J is. Guy right, spraying the field. You haven't finished. Anyway, whatever you reckon, mate. Wonder how long this is going to take. This will work it out once we see how many hours are on the machine once we're finished. There's our timer. So what I'll do is just get this finished. It might run a little bit over time, but it doesn't matter too much. Hopefully you guys don't mind. What we'll do is get
Oh, I know. You finished? Looks like they're both finished. Pretty well. Once we turn this guy around. Um, let's have a look. Done. Alright. Right, you can stop there for the minute. So we'll get this guy finished. So we need to come back and lime it. Um, and touch up his spots as well that he's missed. Shame we can't use this plough. So much better than those ones. Luckily it won't take too long. Might just be better off. If we can get it bloody straight, do a run down and then a run back up. Should fix it all up, except for this little bottom bit. Which is pretty rough. Hopefully we can... Look at that, it's like magic. That bit done, come back and touch up the rest of them. So I'm very grateful to the person that made this mod. It makes it much easier for us to be able to join fields and stuff together. So I'm, it's a pain otherwise. Left, we got to do. Did we miss a spot there. I thought we might have missed a spot. I don't think so. Uh, no, not that I can see. Good. Oh, there we go. Hire him. So we'll um, need to touch up this guy's mistakes. Heaps to do with this guy. I just never like these players. They're a real pain. Shame we can't get a subsoil of it. Um, it's quite as wide as these guys. So much better. Might help if we turn it around the other way anyway. That way we can at least sort of if I can straighten the bloody thing up. Get us going the right direction. It's a little bit there that missed. It's obvious on the map, not really. It's not that obvious, I just won't worry about it. Well, there's heaps there that he's missed, so touch up these few spots and then I think we'll hire another worker and he can touch up that bit. I don't know if this is the one that I used in um, Ravenport, which was, it kept bending in the middle there, and it was really hard to use. Just a bit again. Hire the worker. I said, this guy. Take him back and drop him off, but right here, guys, I'll end the episode here. Um, what I'll do is I might just 
send that stuff down, sell it, come back. Once I've done that, I might start re recording again for our next episode. You guys don't want to see another trip to the shop. Uh, it's pretty obvious. It is pretty bloody annoying, so... Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, as always, smash that like button. Leave a comment, let me know if you want to see more. And what else we should do once we join these fields together. Should we go from 1 to 12? Let me know. And now, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet, guys, please do so. It's been Brito. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.